you excuse me, in the interest of time, I cannot mention all the people in your various capacities, but I greet you all in the name of our Lord. Jesus and I want to say God is good. And all the time, I am not a visitor in Chibuku. I have been in this district, not once, supporting the Honorable Namu Yangu and the Honorable Kinovere when they have events, they are always invited. So my condolences to the family for the loss of your dear mother. Your mother has died, I want to say, at an early age, 74 years. And when I tried to follow, I know the Honorable Namuyangu has been looking after her mother because she would tell me my mother is sick. And allow me to say this. I know that the Honorable Namuyangu has been looking after her mother because she would tell me my mother is Lung cancer is majorly caused by smoke. People who smoke are prone to lung cancer. But also at home when we are cooking, we, we use fire. So that smoke can also cause cancer. Because our mother was not a smoker. But you can see, you can hear that what took her, what was disturbing her was real lung cancer. So this is a disease that is preventable. It is preventable. And to the religious leaders, I want to appreciate all of you for the words that you have mentioned. But pray for us who want to see a country with citizens that are responsible for the country. We cannot be leaders and we see people going astray and we keep quiet. You have talked about people who go to trading centers and in the morning. That's why I had brought the alcohol bill in good faith. So that there can be a time when people can drink, not from money. So that maybe bars can open from two or four and close by ten. So that you go home and sleep. But, but, but I was defeated for people by people. Who care more about seeing people drunk as long as they vote for them? But we shall still continue talking. We shall still continue talking. And please, we shall continue talking. We shall still continue talking. And please, join us in speaking. The president has spoken about alcohol before. You get the cocumwenge. The president has spoken about alcohol before. So pray for us who want to see and move in that righteous path. I want to end. The Honorable Namu Yangu was born in 1970. Because of people who do not trust each other in marriages. And at the end of the day, they even disown children. You ask the question. So I want to ask a question. You men who are here, who are now saying these are not my children, this one, this one has a big head, the other one with the head is not like the neighbor. I want to ask you, where were you when this woman was there? I want to ask you, where were you when this woman was there? Omwana baba ku 
If you are born at home, it is your child. Take care of the children as long as they have told you that is your child. Take care of them. If you are a responsible husband, I always caring for your wife. You are going to have a family that is united. Our mother had ten children. And the ten children, none of them was this old. Now we have a few who can look after children in the neighborhood. Please strengthen, be faithful to your wife. Love your children. And love your family. Because when there is peace in the family, there will be peace in the country. And the world. Allow me to end there in the interest of time. I know when I'm young and, and your uh, siblings, my condolences to you. Your mother is gone. She cannot be replaced. But thank God that you have seen her. Because I'm sure you are aware that there are people who are born and they don't even see their mother. They don't even see their mother. The mothers die while giving birth to them. But your mother took care of you. You are now adults. You have your own children. Together with your other siblings. So let's thank God for the time that you have lived with us. May her soul rest in heaven. Carol Pendy. That is the name. Member of Parliament from Tororo. The bill right, right now on the floor of Parliament. It's a bill that intends to strengthen the family. That is the marriage bill. The apostles here, please know that majority of the people here are here living together as husband and wife. But they are not married in church. They are not known by the government. They are not even known by the parents of the girl who who produced the girl? And they are cohabiting. Why to make marriages simple? If you appreciate somebody's daughter, please go and let the government know you. Let the government know you. Please, my colleagues here, we are not stopping you from marriage. But we just want to make marriages formal. To strengthen the institution of marriage. She comes from Torongo. The ministers of state. The ministers of state. One of public service and the other of test affairs. Uh, we want to welcome you. You are most welcome to this function. Thank you all for coming. We've come to have final function, or last function. Uh, as you get your siblings and all the dwellers of this place for losing such a parent. I remember just last week, a week about two weeks, district road committee. We, we were in Nandere for that committee. Honorable Namiangu requested to leave uh, to go and attend to the uh, annual mother. So, we thank you for taking care of our mother. And for that matter, you uh, get a blessing from God for taking care for this mother. We shall not say, Lord, but she's my uh, member of parliament because I'm the member of parliament for Kapuri County, 
which is within Kibuku district. He is a member of parliament for that county under this uh, district, Kibuku. So a church, church, thank you for spreading such a good gospel. For everyone has praised and applauded it. So, I just extend that condolence from that county, Kabwe. Uh, I will represent, we work within the county with Honorable. I want to for standing in on our behalf as we're working elsewhere. All the leaders, all people who are here, from we want to thank you immensely. For coming to be part of this function as we bid farewell to our mother. Is Gaile Mugole Mauk, David Stephen, a member of Parliament of Kabuiri County in Kibuku District. That is the. That is Mona. I'm Kongo Bazomkuru. My colleague, the Honorable Minister and the brother, Minister Manyoko. Member of Parliament. Our MPs. The church, Kanisa, uh, the LOC5 persons and your technical people. My Nava, LOC5, Ne, Abakozi, Bamwe, our bosses, the people of Chibuku. Abantu, Chibuku. Allow me just uh, use one minute. Monsikit is in Kosset Dutch Kemu. Kuranga, now you get the Dango Muko. Just uh, one, I want to encourage people to test for. Cancers. We're going to take the internal stage in terms of manageable. It's not an embarrassment to have cancer. But we must mitigate it. Let's ensure that most people after they have with cancer in most of the places. So prevention is better than a cure. But we must take the internal stage in terms of manageable. I want to appreciate my mother in the icon. You can see the trees she has planted. When you go back and plant one and call it beetroot. The soldier will send memories. And uh, you will protect the environment. I want to urge you to continue planting because I normally give you trees. Some of you send this advice. Why is he giving us trees instead of money? I have a few millions of trees which are going to be given you. One thing I must mention, that is my salary I get in the parliament. I don't get any funding. So when I give you something, please plant. Tell your neighbor, plant please. Send for coming. May God bless you. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much.